champion of ballet dancing. <laughs> Thank you so much to the Academy, to the jury. To be honest, when I saw the performance of accomplished ballerinas like Prana, like Asgar, like Heba, my heart sank. And I thought I had absolutely no chance. But believe it or not, I have this in my hands because I was deemed worthy of being considered in the company of these accomplished professionals. Of course, I have a long list to thank. But if I name a few and skip the rest, it won't do them any justice. <coughs> so I'll concentrate less on the names. Nevertheless, I have to thank one person, that is my mother. Her help, her, her encouragement. When I was born, she took one look at my tiny little toes and she proclaimed, he will never, ever, ever, ever be a ballet dancer. <laughs> then I went to school, participated in sports. My physical education teacher said to me, son, you will be an amazing cricketer. You will beat the world at table tennis. You will be a world-beating basketball player. There's one thing that you will never be, a ballet dancer. Then it's time for college. I participated in table tennis and never won a match in two years. And my friends started to say to me, OK, you suck at table tennis. <laughs> but that does not in any way mean that you will become a ballet dancer. Then professional life came. I joined work. And in my company, they held a cricket tournament. I participated. Five matches, two runs, <laughs> one catch, and 20 wickets for the other side, <laughs> run outs. And my colleagues said to me, you run like a ballet dance. Yes. Finally, my talent was starting to develop. I further strengthened it by traveling through public transport. So I embarked through the back door and worked my way through the mass of male bodies right to the front where there was light, air, and ladies. And every time I emerged, the ladies shouted in unison, here comes the ballet dancer. And then I upped my game because the way humans walk is inefficient. It's not poetic. So I had an idea. So you see, if you want to walk and then you want to turn, you do like this, right? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Instead, you walk forward and you turn where you want to turn and then you go like that. Isn't that amazingly elegant and efficient? And that's why those who walk with me never catch up with me. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I had the talent, but not the means. And there came the entry of a benefactor that swooped in on me like a guardian angel. And that was the principal of the ballet school that I loitered around. I used to right around the school, practice my moves and stare at the windows, if only I can get into the school. And the principal stared down from the window. And there you are, sir. Thank you so much. If you had not granted me the scholarship, I would not have accomplished this dream. But it's not easy, not by a long shot. If you say that if I can become a ballet dancer, so can anyone. Please correct yourself. You will have to face rejection. You will have to face ridicule. You will have to face setbacks. You will have to face hungry nights. You will have to face situations where you're kicked out of your home because you can't pay the rent. You will try and fail. Try again and fail again. Try a third time and fail harder. Try, 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 and then compete and fail and compete and fail until after 20 tries there is that one success. 
that will make it all worthwhile. And that success is today. I wish to thank again the Honorable Academy of Ballet Dancers for recognizing my talent. And also for the fact that they deem me worthy of this honor. And I commit that I will honor this distinction with my life. I will use my art to spread joy around the world. And I will never do anything that brings any harm to the esteemed reputation of ballet dancers around the world. Thank you. That was our ballet dancer. <laughs>